Um, real quick for this, uh, just tell me what you're looking for tonight in the Lakers Denver game. I want to see how quickly Denver gets into their stuff. I think it's very well established over the last year and a half, really just the Jokic era. They have a lot of different options they can get to with Jokic and Murray and MPJ and Aaron Gordon. They can dice you up any which way. I don't particularly love when they're just walking it up and they're starting stuff with 15, 14 on the clock. It just felt like, I, I looked it up, the numbers don't support it, but it certainly felt like it was just the slowest first half that they've had. And they've gotten off to slow starts pretty much every game of the series so far, and they've been able to make the second half comebacks. But it just felt really rickety in the game four. And because they didn't get the shot making in the second half, the Lakers were actually able to seal the deal. So congrats to them. But I, it's, it's Denver tempo for me. And just a general, I hope Jamal Murray's okay. I think it's a calf strain for him. Yeah. That was certainly Question, explained. Questionable. That yeah. certainly explained some of the movement stuff and some of the jumpers in the game four. Uh, so I hope he's okay. But ski, you know, X's and O's, well, I just want to see how quickly Denver's getting into it because I just did not love uh, the urgency for them. Uh, if Jamal Murray plays, it's the uh, Jamal Murray plus second unit line minutes against the LeBron plus second unit minutes. I feel like those have been very important in all of these games uh, and who can get momentum out of that. How does it affect the substitution pattern? So that's probably number one for me. And then can D'Angelo Russell and Austin Reeves continue to make shots and continue to drive and continue to make plays? The Lakers have shown their template for success against Denver. Those two are a big part of it. So that, that'd probably be it for me. Okay. All right. The one thing I'm looking for is the start for Denver. Um, the, the, you, Steve, you, or uh, Nikias, you just said the word urgency. And I, and I, I think uh, I was impressed throughout this season for a defending champion uh, with the way they approached the regular season. Certainly there were some duds. Called one in Utah uh, in January. Uh, where they they just it was brutal. Uh, you know, just no defensive effort outside of Jokic. Uh, no one had it going on offensively, and haven't loved the way they've started with that sense of urgency to start the game. Obviously, the numbers support that they played from behind every game. So I, I'm looking at the Denver start tonight. That's that's the thing I'm watching. Guys, always appreciate it. Um, again, the Dunker Spot will be out tomorrow, and you guys will be covering this. It's probably be a three and a half hour episode. Um, <laughs> by the way, I so real quick, I I have two things to say real quick. Um, yeah. Number one, I I didn't realize um, until recently just. The, the amount of chatter that you guys have it's like a full catch-up every recording and then you record and i just i love that i love that <laughs> i love it it just i don't know it just makes me happy that you guys are just like this make it makes me happy uh secondly um we just moved into a new house and i had to call spectrum on saturday when I was in Dallas to get uh, some routers and and some hubs for the Wi-Fi, mm -hmm. uh, because I don't know why the AV company didn't provide that they were supposed to. Uh, whatever, it's all good. It's all good. Um, anyways, the guy I was talking to, he's Chance from Missouri, and he figures out who I am. And this is a I would get a Spectrum call, and I uh, started talking to Chance and and. Uh, and we had a 10 minute conversation on why Russell Westbrook is the greatest point guard of all time, uh, in his eyes. And I just wanted to give a shout out to chance from Missouri. Uh, he, he requested that, uh, we give him some love on the pod. So NBA fans all over the place. And I, I, I love, I love fandom. So shout out to chance. 